Hey everyone, this is Ellie from Magic Beans, and today I'm interviewing Hannah, uh, the founder, the owner of Love to Dream. Um, you may or may not be familiar with Love to Dream, but it is an unbelievable product that will help your child sleep. So you should definitely pay attention because we want our children, our babies, our little infants, to sleep. And they, this product is absolutely incredible. It's innovative, and we will, and she'll tell you all about it and why your normal swaddling situations may not be exactly the right method for getting your little baby to sleep. So we're gonna do an interview. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment below. You should subscribe and like whatever platform you're watching this on. And if you have any questions about um, swaddling, sleep, strollers, car seats, anything, you should email me your questions at questions at mbeats.com. Give us a call or again, drop a comment below. And Hannah is here with me today. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Um, good morning to you. Good evening to me. Um, tell everyone where you are right now. Hi, everybody. I'm in Sydney, Australia, on the other side of the world to all of you guys, and it's morning. <laughs> and yes, I'm and sitting yesterday. in... I'm sorry? It's yesterday here. I'm it's still yeah, in yeah. <laughs> Yes. And um, I'm sitting in my office, and I'm by myself which is a re really exciting because I'm, I'm like all of you guys homeschooling my two beautiful kids and trying to work and juggle it all during this crazy time of COVID. So yeah. You know, it's unbelievable. I've been interviewing people from all over the world the past couple of weeks, um, from France and Amsterdam and all these places, America, England. And it's like this global united terribleness and of all being home, no matter like all these different places in the world, it is absolutely crazy. Um, everyone is safe and healthy and okay? Yes, thank God. Okay. And you know, I actually feel quite blessed because I'm a working mum, and I've been a working mum since my babies were born. And it's really the first time in 12 years that I've been able to spend daytime with them. So I feel really, really blessed, so. Mm -hmm. That is such an amazing way to look at it. I think that lots of parents are going to relate to that. You know, I have a senior in high school right now, and to have this precious time with them at the end of, like, it's just, it's just a gift. So it yes, is hard. Hold on to your babies for a little longer. Exactly. Exactly. That's so, so true. Um, so let's, let's talk about it. So you, like I said, you're a mom, you have two beautiful children. Did you... Well, maybe people first don't exactly know what Love to Dream is. Can you just like basically explain what a Love to Dream product is? I'll show you. <laughs> so this product is called Swaddle Up. See, it's a baby swaddle, but it's very special because it allows babies to sleep in a more natural sleep position with their arms up. Um, and it allows you, the baby, to take their hand, rub their cheek, or suck on their hand, and they do that for self-soothing. And if a baby can self-soothe, that means the parent doesn't have to wake up to soothe them, and they sleep longer, and everybody has less interrupted sleep during the night time. So that's what's special about the Love to Dream Swaddle and it's our patented product. So you should only be able to get it from us. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and was this, were you, what did you do before Love to Dream? Is was like, where were you, how did, yeah, tell me a little bit about where, you, were you from Australia? Like, tell me a little bit about your history. Were you? Yeah, uh, okay. You... Yeah, so I'm Australian and my kids were born in Australia, that's where we live, and we swaddle in Australia, like you guys do in the US when you have your baby, the, you know, the baby comes out, the nurse swaddles it and then and gives it to you. And I noticed with my son that he always slept with his arms up. If he was unswaddled, he would sleep with his arms here. And then if you Google sleeping baby and the babies are sleeping on their backs, how they should sleep for safety reasons, like 97% of the images are with babies with arms up. So my background, I'm a fashion designer and I worked as a fashion designer in the past. So I kind of was like, oh, my son keeps getting out of those traditional swaddles that make you swaddle babies with arms down. And 
I was like, oh, he doesn't like that position. He likes his arms up and he sleeps like that naturally. Maybe I could create a swaddle that would still be snug and feel like the baby swaddled, but allow them to have his arms up. So I did that. I, I, made, I made the samples myself, the first two samples, which is a really bad idea because I'm shocking at sewing. <laughs> 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 and I gave two samples to uh, my friends who had little babies because my son was already too old for swaddling. And they, I said, please, can you try this and tell me what you think? And they both rang me in the morning and said, Hannah, my baby slept through the night for the first time. I know. And that was, that was the, you know, when the sky opened up and the angel started singing, I was like, wow, maybe I can help babies sleep better. And we've just recently done a survey of our Facebook customers. So uh, 1,400 people responded and they said that they believe that Swaddle Up, so this product um, in this packaging, <laughs> uh, almost helped double their baby's sleep from something like 3.4 hours a night to 7.2. That's unbelievable. Seven, exactly. seven. That's a, I'd like to get seven point two hours. Right? I have teenagers. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we do. That's the first stage in our sleep system, and we're really passionate about helping babies and toddlers sleep. And so, so sleep. how did how did the swaddling like a burrito come to pass, and how like it, it's, that's an unbelievable story that you just notice something and you. So it's something up terribly and then like created this product. Um, mm -hmm. Like subsequently, what have you learned about the burrito method and the other different types of ways that people get their children to sleep versus a swaddle up? What have, yeah, what have you great question. So the, the biggest thing that I was actually trying to solve was the safety issue because I would swaddle with like a burrito with a, with a piece of cloth, right? So a swaddle blanket. And what I would notice is when I would walk into my son's room in the middle of the night, because he was trying to get his arms out, the whole swaddle had unraveled and I even found it up over his face. And that really scared me. I really felt that it actually was just not a safe thing to do. So I thought, wow, could I create a suit? So something that you put them into and zip it up so it cannot unravel. And because the garment is cinched up um, under the arms and snug at the waist, it reduces the risk of the garment riding up over the baby's face. So really, I set out to make a safer product. What I didn't realize was this would actually help them sleep better. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. um, one of the things that we talk, talk to our customers about at Magic Beans is is a moral reflex, that startling reflex. And I guess the whole concept with swaddling is that you wanna like slow down that reflex. And the only way to do that is to sort of like compress the child to do that. But I guess the swaddle up, like does that accomplish the same goal even without mm. the burrito or is it, can the baby still get startled or is it okay? Yes, what parents need to know that the moral reflex is actually very important for uh, SIDS prevention. So you never want to suppress that entirely. And when parents are suppressing that entirely, it's unsafe, but it also means that you're wrapping very tightly. And when you're wrapping with a conventional swaddle or a Velcro swaddle, the parent is controlling the tightness, which how do you know what's too tight and what's too loose? So you can, it's basically, it's not foolproof. Whereas our product is sized for the baby's weight, so you know if you're buying according to the baby's weight and that's represented on all websites and packaging, you know that it's gonna fit you, your baby properly and that the moro reflex is calmed in our swaddle because it's still snug on the arms when it's on a real baby, but it's not too tight, mm -hmm. which is what you want. Mm -hmm. um, that, that, that's, that's, that makes a lot of sense, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, I know that like sleep is such a concern for parents and I, I imagine you've spoken to so like probably hundreds of parents about sleeping. Do you have any advice for besides like 
In addition to buying us Model Up, for sure, any advice yeah. about some best practices for getting your child to sleep? I know that in um, in America, I don't know if um, they have like uh, they have that uh, that bassinet, that that fancy expensive bassinet here in America that that gets people to sleep. But what are what are some of your advices to um, the snoo? That's what it is. Um, what are some of your best tips for helping babies sleep? Okay, so I want to tell you that I did everything wrong when I had my first baby and he did not sleep for more than 45 minute, minutes at a time. So I know the devastation of sleep deprivation. And my advice would be that babies need to learn how to sleep. It's not actually inherent. And so like an adult, we need to set ourselves up for sleep. We need to get off our screens. We need to wind down. We need to maybe read a book. We have a whole routine that we have before we go to sleep. So babies need a routine as well. And my suggestion is that in the beginning, you try and set up sleep in the same place in your home, if you can. Every time the baby goes to sleep, it should be in a familiar environment. And in a semi-dark room, so grey light, you know, like the, the, the shades drawn, but not pitch black during the day. So they start to understand the difference between day sleeps and night sleeps. And then night sleeps are pitch black. So if you can, and I know it's difficult when you've got other children, and so, you know, this advice is not, is not you know, verbatim, but I think if you can get the baby used to sleeping in the same environment, it for every sleep that is really helpful. Um, I also think if, if you can get your baby into a bassinet or a crib rather than sleeping in your arms from the very beginning, that will be really helpful for your baby to learn that they sleep in a bed. And also it's safer, of course. So put them down when they're drowsy. So cuddle them and feed them and do all that stuff. Get them drowsy and then gently put them into their bassinet for sleep time. And then they'll get used to sleeping in a bed, which will be awesome when they're two years old and not still sleeping in your arms. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that it's really hard for parents. You know, the, that process of getting children to self-soothe to figure it out can be very painful you see your little baby they're brand new they're crying they want you it's it's heartbreaking but it's you know you have to train them like you said to 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 figure it out right i think part of the, pro the idea of the product is like helping the babies have their faculties in order to sort of like make that happen for themselves so i think that's um i think it's all really really great advice mm, and you know swaddling is actually a sleep aid because Everyone says that swaddling reminds them, the baby, of being in the womb, which is kind of correct, but not really. What, <laughs> swaddling, what swaddling does, it compress, it, it, it's gentle compression of the joints and muscles, which activates a set of senses in the body called proprioception. And if you compare it to when you're feeling sad or, or tired or whatever, and somebody gives you a hug, it automatically soothes you because it activates this soothing uh, reflex in your body. So swaddling is like a big hug, which helps calm a baby. But if you can give babies so swaddling for sleep time, it helps calm them actually. Mm -hmm. And then with swaddle up, if you can give them access to their hands, they'll self soothe themselves to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's that's so interesting. That's so interesting. So you start with the swaddle up, and then you and then your your products turn into sleep sacks, and you just have like a whole like kind of sleep system that can grow with the child. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So uh, it's swaddling is really great for newborns, but there comes a time where you need to stop swaddling, and parents really worry about swapping stopping swaddling. Um, so we realized that and we developed a transition bag. So what happens in the transition bag is the wing zips off, comes off, and the baby's arm is released and they start to sleep with one arm out for a day, three days, however long it takes. And then you would zip off the second wing. And basically the transition bag, so it's called Swaddle Up Transition Bag, uh, ends up being a wingless 
sleeping bag that your baby can just continue using. And it's really nice because it's still snug here in the torso, so it reminds the baby of being swaddled. So you're not totally disrupting the sleep routine. So gentle transitioning from swaddling is really key to preserving your sleep routine. And then we have stage three products, which are sleeping bags and uh, sleep suits, which are ready for babies who, from six months onwards, who have transitioned completely out of our transition products. So Hannah, from sewing a mediocre prototype, um, <laughs> which worked really well, to being this like global phenomenon. I mean, I see like, all over Boston. I mean, we're on the, I'm literally the other end of the world and whether it's bought from us and magic beans or just around people are really sort of like, so into your product. Tell me a little bit about your growth, your story. How did it, how did this happen? How tell, can you tell me a little bit of how this kind of exploded? Oh my goodness. Well, here, let me quickly show you a picture. See, can you see that? <laughs> right yeah. there. That's me packing our first order to go into stores in Australia in my Ugg boots in the hallway of our apartment. And that was like, I think, one o'clock in the morning after my son had just fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. And um, so that was 10 years ago. And we are now amazingly distributed in 45 countries around the world and we have helped millions and millions of families get more sleep and can I believe it no um, can I understand it yes because all over the world their babies and parents have the same problem and it's how to get how to get their sleep back that they used to have before having children so we really do solve a universal problem and it resonates because all babies are the same. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it resonates, like we said in the beginning of this, it's right, you think about, especially during this time of, of COVID-19, how like similar we are and how, you know, no matter where you are around the world, we like have similar struggles, similar pro problems, we're like all, un like all united to, to some extent. And I think you're exactly right that, right, having babies and baby sleeping is the most natural thing in the world. And universally <laughs> parents want to get sleep. It doesn't matter where you, where you live. It's like a natural thing that you want to do. And the quest to be able to get sleep is just so important. And it's like, it's so awesome that you, again, 45 countries around the world that you, um, the, again, from this just observing and your talent and your, um, and your effort to be able to sort of create such a, an awesome product and awesome, Awesome company. Um, what's where? Where are you going to go from here? Are you is do you have like ideas of more innovation of other things to invent and do? And yes, what's next? Yes, yes, we do. So we uh, we really do help babies sleep, and we help the parents sleep, and that is our absolute vision and mission. So every product that we launch from here on in is going to deliver safer longer sleep. Um, we are planning lots of really exciting things for next year. And the best place to learn about that is on your social channels. <laughs> and, and on the love to dream social channels. So yeah, we're just on a mission to deliver more sleep all around the world. Well, that's I can't wait to 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 see what you would come up with what you come up with next. Um, you're absolutely right. We are very passionate about Love to Dream products at uh, Magic Beans and at Means.com. And you can buy the full line of uh, Love to Dream products from us. And give us a call. We'll help you talk about sleep, uh, your sleep issues and recommend the right Love to Dream product. And um, you know, we'll do more videos about the products because we're just, it's just such a great uh, to connect with you and to learn about your company. Congratulations. It's such an awesome it's just an awesome thing. And thank you for helping millions of families around the world sleep. I hope you found this interview helpful. Good luck with your sleep adventures. Um, like I said, drop a comment below if you have any other questions. We'll be moderating the comments and help hopefully be able to answer your specific questions. Um, thank you so much, Hannah, for spending time with me. Um, have a great day for the rest of your day. And thank I hope you.
Thank you. Thank you.